In this Scratch program, we're going to create a game that uses some familiar codes and some new ones. We're going to make a game where our cat or whatever sprite you choose will go around the screen and collect coins that will disappear when he collects them and raise your score. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it and I'm going to call it Coin Game. Then if you want to keep the cat, great. If you want a different sprite, delete the cat and go get the sprite you want. And we're going to put it in its starting position down here at the bottom. Now, in order to make this a little easier to program, it's helpful to rename your sprites. So instead of sprite one, I'm going to call him cat. Then, because he's a little bit big and I want more room on my screen, I'm going to change his size. And I think I'll go with about size 50. And that will give me a nice small cat with enough room to roam around on the screen. Now I'm going to set up my cat code. I'm going to start by adding my controls to move him. And for this, we're going to have him move around using the arrow keys. So I'm going to go to events and I'm going to get four of the when space key pressed codes. I'm going to make one the up arrow, one the down arrow, one right, and one left. Now the right and the left are going to be the simplest ones. I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to put move 10 steps under each of them. The positive 10 for the right arrow is going to make him move forward. To make him move backwards for the left arrow, we need to add a minus sign. And now when I press my left arrow, he should move back. Up and down are a little different. For up and down, we need to use the Y axis, which is our up and down movement. So I'm going to scroll down and find change Y by 10. Be careful. We don't want set Y. We want change Y. And for the up arrow, we're going to leave it positive 10. For the down arrow, we're going to make it negative 10. So now our up and down arrows will make him move up and down. Now I'm going to make my score variable. I'm going to go to the orange variables button, choose make a variable, and call it score. Now I have my scoreboard. I'm going to go to events and get my green flag. And the first thing I'm going to do is have him go to his starting position. So I'm going to make sure I'm happy with where he is. I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to get go to X and Y. Don't worry if your numbers are different than mine. It just depends on exactly where your sprite is. Now I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to get set my variable to zero. And very important, make sure you change it to score. So now when we start the game, he's going to go to his starting position and the score is going to be zero. Now I'm ready for my coins. If I go to the sprite menu, there isn't really a coin sprite that I've seen in here. Unless I have gone blind and I'm missing it, I did not see a coin sprite when I went through. But that's okay. We're going to create our own sprite. Instead of clicking on the little cat button down here, I'm just going to put my mouse on it so the menu pops up and I'm going to go to my paintbrush. On my paint menu, I'm going to come up here to my fill color and I'm going to look for a nice yellow. And you can choose whatever shade you want. If you don't want it to be yellow, feel free to pick another color. And you can adjust the sliders until you get it the color you want. Then I'm going to come down and get my circle tool and I'm just going to draw a circle. If it's too big or too small, grab those corner arrows and shrink it down or use your size tool over here to change the size later. Now I'm going to go to my text tool, the capital T. And I'm going to change my color to black. And to do that, I can just slide my brightness all the way over. I'm going to click in the middle of my coin. And don't worry if it's not exactly in the middle. And I'm going to put in a dollar sign symbol. 
Now to move it exactly where I want it, I'm going to click on this arrow key up here. And then I can use the arrows on my keyboard to kind of get it in the middle of my coin. Don't worry if your cat moves. Remember, we gave him a starting position that he'll go to when he's done. So once I have that where I want it, I can click off to make sure I'm happy with it. I'm going to go back to code. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to rename this sprite coin. This is going to make my code a little easier. So now I'm ready to start the code for my coin. I'm going to go to events and I'm going to get my green flag. Because we're going to make it so these coins will disappear when the cat touches them, when we start the game, we want them all to reappear. So I'm going to go to the looks menu and go down and find show. And I'm going to put show underneath. Now I'm going to go to control and I want two things from the control menu. The first thing I want is a forever box because this is always going to happen. Then right underneath forever, I'm going to get if then. If something happens, then do something else. I'm going to go to sensing and I'm going to get touching mouse pointer and stick it in there. And then we need to change it to cat. So if he's touching the cat, something's going to happen. What's going to happen? Well, a couple of things are going to happen. Number one, I'm going to go to the looks menu and I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose hide and put that inside the if box. That will make my coin disappear when he touches it. Next, I want to play a sound effect. So I'm going to go to my sounds tab. I don't want pop, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to go down here to my choose sound menu. And if I type in coin, I have a coin option right here. So I'm going to click on it and then go back to my code. I'm going to go to my sound menu. I'm going to say start sound coin. And now I need to tell it to change the score. So I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to get change my score, my variable by one and then pull that down and choose score. So now when I click the green flag, it'll show the coin. And then if it's touching the cat, it'll hide, play the sound coin and change my score. So I'm going to click my green flag to start the game. And I'm going to move my cat over to get it. And it should get rid of my coin. You'll notice the coin disappeared. I'm going to stop my game. I'm going to put my cat back. And I'm going to click my green flag and my stop sign again, just so I can see my coin. Now, one coin is kind of boring. I'm going to make lots of coins, but I don't want to have to go back and make more and write all this code again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my mouse over this sprite and you're going to hold down the alt key on your keyboard, A-L-T. And then you're going to click on your sprite to get a little pop-up menu. We want duplicate. And you can just keep duplicating until you have as many coins as you want for your game. Once you have the coins you want, spread them out, move them around, put them around the screen, and each coin will have the same code. So it will all work together. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a background and you can choose any background you want. And now I'm going to green flag to start my game. All right, and you can see my score goes up and my coins disappear. When I stop the game and click the green flag again, he goes back to his starting position, the score goes to zero and the coins come back. So now I'm going to click share, copy link, copy the link and turn it in. 